Hi there, and welcome to Andy Robinson RC. Cheers for checking out the channel today and this episode. And on this episode, we have this, the Schumacher Cougar Classic. Now, I've done a couple of videos on this and uh, we did the unboxing video. Again, I'll put the link into the description. And we did a bit of a comparison after this was built. I don't think it got any electrics in it, but I had the car built and we had that lovely, uh, Palmer bodied vintage Cougar that would have been lent to me uh, by Paul Rowlands. So uh, cheers for that, Paul. Um, so we had a bit of a comparison. Now this is all done and finished and it's ready to uh, show you running and show you what it's like. Now I did have to, after building the car, the building went, went, you know, pretty well with the things I could do. Um, although it did feel like I had to get uh, my wife to do a fair few things on this because I just generally struggle with certain things. Now, uh, I had to get the, the little C, uh, C clips or sur clips that go in the bottom of the shock bodies. You do need ideally a really good pair of thin um, sort of pliers for that, but we managed. So it wasn't something I could manage to do, but uh, my wife managed to do that, which was good. Um, put the body out for me as well. And, uh, which was great and I tell you another one of the big pain in the arse things to do is mount these rear wings I mean it's great you won't lose it on track but uh, you know they are a bit of a pain to mount up now the only thing is the bands might have a, might perish that's the only thing I can see but generally it works well but they are a pain to sort so yeah there was the wing the circlips on the shocks uh, actually the shocks feel lovely once built though, really nice. Um, usual things for me, I have to get a bit of help getting the turnbuckles built as well. And again, uh, you do get a tool supplied in the kit by Schumacher, but um, it does probably help if you heat them up a bit. But these, the cross joints that go in the um, sliding telescopic uh, drive shafts, again, that is another thing that can be a bit of a pain. There's no way I was doing it. So again, I had to have a little help off uh, my wife for that. So basically, it feels like uh, I only built about half the car, but um, no, um, but you know, a couple of fiddly things. Don't remember though, this is not a Tamiya kit or anything like that. This was a kit uh, that was built and made for racing. Now, as so that aside, uh, really liked it. I've never built a Schumacher out of the box before. So uh, yeah, I enjoyed it uh, for the most part. Now. What I did find is after getting it built, I managed, <laughs> on my first test run in the back garden, I snapped the lay shaft in the gearbox that uh, you know holds the, uh, the one of the belt, uh, one of the uh, drive pulleys on, and um, the spur gear holds all that on. I actually snapped it in half. Now, I think what I did there basically is I had the eccentric bearings um, too tight. Uh, if you just see them there, you you the, you, um, you build it and it's set loose, and you have to tighten these up by moving them, um, and they've got to be equal either side. And I think I just had mine way too tight because when I was looking at re when I rebuilt the gearbox, luckily I had a spare lay shaft. Um, I was I was uh, like putting it all back together, and it felt so tight that I was forcing the uh, the lay shaft all sit in the right uh, in the bearings properly and in the right holes. And then I thought, well, maybe I should back that eccentric uh, bearings off a bit. So I did, and then I didn't have uh, the problems afterwards. So this is going to be its first proper decent run. And a quick shout out to James uh, Hodson of uh, South Lakes Model Car Club. He gave me uh, a few tips on what to look for. So cheers for that. Anyway, let's get this on the ground and let's give it a, uh, a little bit of a blast. Okay. Fingers crossed the diff won't explode on me or the uh, the laser. <laughs> anyway, here we go. So, I've got in this, I've just got a, uh, actually it's the motor that I was racing in my associated DT, it's just a 17 turn. So not over super powerful because the, uh, the stock transmissions can't take really high power. Um, so I've got that in there. 
and I've just got a hobby wing 1060 again in this which is ample for this and what I'll be using it for but I think definitely uh, backing off those eccentric uh, bearings has saved my uh, drive chain You know, considering it's just a 17 double brushed and on nim batches it, it's not bad at all. I quite like it. Also, um, we have been shooting another video this morning. We were out with the bandits, so I've been using this battery as well. But yeah, it's, uh, I'd quite happily race this at my uh, club indoors. I think it'd be ideal for that. Oh, the other thing I had to do, I had to glue the tyres on as well. I was getting a bit of uh, wheel in tyre slip before under acceleration. So yeah, you might have to glue your tyres if you're building one here. Maybe. So yeah, it drives really smoothly. Cool. So yeah, Schumacher have generally done a good job with this. Very nice, it's a cool buggy. I just wished it was a little easier for people like me to build it. Or you have to get someone who's uh, a bit more talented to help out. Well, I think uh, judging by that little run there, I would say that the uh, transmission issues were sorted. <laughs> it would have broken by now. <laughs> oh yeah. Anyway, been cutting a few daisies there, as you can see. Right. Okay. Let's put this up. So I'm glad I've managed to uh, get this out and show you. I hope you uh, enjoyed seeing it run. So there we go. That is the uh, say 2022 re-release by Schumacher. That is the Cougar Classic, and it is a great uh, vintage buggy. Highly recommend one if you've not had a Schumacher before. Very cool. Just uh, watch out for those few points that I mentioned. Again, you can also see uh, my other uh, videos on this. Right, we're going to go because uh, me and my wife are desperate to get inside because it's really, really warm. So uh, thanks for joining us on the channel today. Cheers for checking this one out. Again, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. We're not far off now, reaching our 2,000 uh, subscriber target, which is excellent. So thanks for everyone's support. Also, as well, come and join us on Andy Robinson Instagram and Facebook by just uh, looking up Andy Robinson RC. Right, look after yourselves, take care, and we'll see you soon. See you later.